This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinylic Puma and today we have episode 6 of my Borderlands the pre-sequel Legendary Weapons Guide. Today we have the Prismatic Bulwark Shield. This is a shield that absorbs lasers. Bad ass. Anyway, what you're going to have to do to get this is this, well, let me go ahead and just say this is very, very hard to get. Um, it only drops from Zarpadon Ascended, um, which is when you fight Colonel Zarpadon on the Hyperion Moon Base on Helios. Uh, now, really, you're going to go ahead and see here and watch me kill him, or, or kill her, I should say. Um, and it's a tough fight. Now, what I'm also going to mention is really... Your best chances of getting this, because it almost seems like this fight was designed it to where it could not, it was not to be refought at all. You're going to have to, before you even uh, fight Zarpadon at all, you're going to have to copy your game save if you're on PC um, and then kind of go from there. Uh, you guys on console, uh, quite frankly, sorry, but you're, you're kind of out of luck. You're just going to have to get really lucky. My best, uh, course of advice would be to get as many people in your game as, as you can um, and pray to God you get this thing to drop. Um, but you will see here that I've got the prismatic bulwark shield um, to drop that first time there and then you're gonna uh, drop the it's gonna drop the second time. Now what I went ahead and I did here is I've omitted the cutscenes just so you can kind of see here and we don't have to uh, sit through all those again and yeah so that's pretty much that. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is segue into some gameplay to where you can see um, the prismatic bulwark on action um, on Wilhelm. So, really, as you can see here, um, there's, there's not a whole lot to see, um, but one of my first impressions with this shield is that it is very, it makes you very, very squishy against everything with the exception of lasers. So, I mean... Um, for those that play Borderlands 2, you may remember the sham. The sham was great because most enemies in the game shot bullets at you. Well, not all the enemies in Borderlands the pre-sequel uh, shoot bullets at you. So, I mean, you're pretty much going to get um, attacked sometimes and you'll go down a lot. Um, but really, with Wilhelm, you can kind of spec to make him more um, resilient and more tank-like. Um, or more of a tank like a tanking class uh, so that's going to really help you out uh, especially because this uh, bulwark has such a low capacity and just makes your character extremely squishy now the other benefit that this has on Wilhelm is you're actually going to be able to get your shields down faster which is going to benefit particularly the vengeance cannon and skills that um, activate when your shields are depleted. So that's also pretty nice. But yeah, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. Um, if you did like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. really helps me out. Uh, tomorrow, um, what we're going to do is we're going to upload a video of the ZX-1 also dropping from Colonel Zarpadon in her mech suit. And uh, I'm also going to show that you can get the gun in the grinder. And you can really get a superior version. And we'll show some gameplay as well. But anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.